The streamer talents building in Clash of Streamers allows you to empower your team and hence win more when battling in the campaign, arena or other fighting buildings. You can find the streamer talents building on the right side of the main menu. So scroll to the right and select the streamer talents here. Tap to open it. In this building, you will see various faction trees on the right side. There is a streamer talent tree for each faction that is Lol, Pop Champ, Smorg, Tryhard, Kappa and Kappa Pride at the bottom. You need to collect faces to unlock all these trees. That means if you don't have enough faces, like in my case, you don't actually have the tree unlocked yet and hence these Kappa Pride Boni will not apply. You can also tap to see the amount of faces you have to collect still or at the bar here at the top you can see. Any faces count for this bar. That means no matter if they're equipped on heroes or unequipped, you can simply summon here heroes, get them from other fighting rewards and so on to collect more faces. Keep in mind the only faces count that means skins you get for example from subbing or following people don't count towards this bar. Now on the left side you see the streamer talent tree of the actual factions you have selected. So for example here I have low selected but you can tap on any other trees to see those factions. In the middle of the tree you also see the total power buff that you get for these Zerator heroes or whichever stream we have selected. You can tap this to open the skin collection menu where you can collect more skins of the streamers and hence increase your skin power for this specific streamer. In the bottom left you have the Smorg Pet Garden or depending on the other talents you have the respective Pet Garden and the Pet Garden gives you additional abilities for these heroes of this current streamer faction talent. So you can tap this as well to see more information about the Pet Garden buffs or whichever pet is active and also tap here to again go and change the pet. So you can simply use the auto option for all the talents and the game will automatically decide whatever is best for you and you just want to manually switch reach the pets on the pet abilities that you think are best for your team or for your current progress in the game.